All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back into my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment down below, smash that thumbs up button, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. So let's get started. We have a haul video. We're going to start. I have it all surrounding me. We're at home. We're supposed to get a snowstorm, so let's start the video. Okay, guys, so without any further ado, we're going to get right into the whole video. I'm going to show you what I picked up today at the Goodwill bins. Um, I got this skull candy bag. I've never seen one of these before, so I just figured that I could probably get a decent amount for it. They do sell for like $30, $40, um, maybe $50 new, closer to $50, maybe. They had a $5 price tag on it. Nobody was buying it. Um, I probably should have checked to make sure all the zippers are good but it's all in all it's in pretty good condition um it doesn't have a whole lot of use it has a little audio for your headphone i guess that's for your okay sorry guys the phone was actually kind of not in the right position because the camera is at the top and it was at the bottom so it was kind of kind of in a weird position but anyway the, there's an audio pocket at the top it has your headphone the piece to put your headphones through but I'm going to take a look at the inside to make sure that it's not, you know, all grimy on the inside. But no, it's, this is just in a really, this bag's in really good condition. So um, probably about 25 for this bag. I'm going to charge shipping for that. And I did pick up another bag. If you see my cats kind of jump, there's, yeah, one of them's messing with the blinds in the back. So yeah, I got two cats. I got a, I got a female and a male, male Smokies over there. And then I got uh, they wanted to name her something else. I, I don't even know, but she's black and white, so I named her. Come here. Come here. Come on. In the video. Don't do that. Don't fight. What are you doing? Come here. Come on. Pinky, come on. See, now I pissed her off. <laughs> come on. Come here. Come get the back. Get the back. Come on. Ah, you're a pain in the butt. I got gotcha. you. There. That's Minnie. I named her Minnie. All right, get out of here, Minnie. Okay, yeah, she wasn't too happy about me trying to grab her. But, um, so I found this Adidas bag. The condition is just really, really good. And I, I don't really like to pick up bags because they kind of sit really long. They're like long tail items. Um, I don't know if my daughter's going to want this. I'll probably take a picture and see if she wants it. It has a couple little scrapes on the bottom. I think that might just be like just some dirt or something. But... The bag itself is in really good condition, and that's the only reason why I picked it up. Plus, the color's really nice. Smokey's going to lay on the other bag. We'll let him lay on it. Um, I think the total of today was like $60. And this is uh, Infantino. I think I'll get about $20 for this, and I'm going to charge shipping. This is a 4-in-1 convertible carry. It's like a baby carrier. Um, the only reason why I picked it up is because it is brand new sealed. Um, I don't have to take it out of the box to do anything. I could probably grab some stock photos. Um, sometimes it's okay to use stock photos. I prefer not to. Um, they can see what it is. They can see what it's for um, by just by looking at the box. Go away, cat. <laughs> All up in the Kool-Aid. Um, there was a bag of brats. I think this is just like their stage or something. My granddaughter has so many toys right now that it's kind of overwhelming. Um, I know she likes me to bring toys home once in a while, but I did pick up some toys that I'm just going to resell them uh, because they definitely have plenty. I did pick up a couple brat dolls. If they didn't sell, I might just lot these together. I might just go into that existing listing, um, existing listing, and just add these to it. So yeah, um, brat stuff does sell. Some of it's older and it's a little more rare. Um, I don't think they make these anymore. I think that's the reason why they're so popular. And these are just, these are all My Little Ponies. I think they're from like 2007. I think I was looking at them with somebody else at the Goodwill Bins and I looked at the date on one of the bottom of the foot and I believe it was like, is it on that one? It might've been another one, but yeah, there's like a whole bag of My Little Ponies, like just a big giant bag. Um, they are part of, I forget the name of the set. It's like a train set. So there's two pieces of the train. It's missing the tracks. So I'm just going to sell 
it just like this. Probably just lot them all together with all of the My Little Ponies. And we're probably looking at like $40 right there just in that one listing. So we pretty much got our money back just with those couple items. So I did see one of these listed. The company's called... Sorry, it's cold outside. I'm like sniffling already because I was just outside in the cold and had no sweater on. This is called Park Plastics. Um, it has Texaco, so it has a good advertisement on it. It's probably from, probably say like the 70s, 80s, something like that. Um, judging by the vehicle, usually the vehicles are modern or, or to the day when they're made um, a lot of times with these toys. I'm kind of guessing with these kind of toys. So um, it is metal, it's die, it's die cast and plastic. So um, I see somebody has one with the with one with the cab and the trailer for like $70, but that's what it's listed for. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna get for this. It could be worth like maybe like 25 bucks, something like that. But it was interesting. And I was like, you know what? This is probably has a little bit of value to it. Whenever I pick the big trucks up, if I can get them at yard sales, I did pick a set up not too long ago at a yard sale and it sold for a lot and I only paid like a dollar for it and it was like a whole truck. I can't remember what the advertisement is on it. Be on the lookout for a, um, give me my keys. I'm trying to steal my keys. She is frisky. Very, very frisky. All right, so these were right in the bag. They're not Oakleys like the other ones, but they are definitely worth selling. They are um, revision military. So what they are is they have sunglasses and they also have, there's also like a clear shield. I'm guessing that's like, like safety glasses or something. And then the other one is going to be your, and they, they are in pretty good condition. I mean, they're not perfect, but you know, they're not that bad either. So I'll probably just put in, you know, a little bit of light, you know, some light scratches. And I think I can probably get about $30 for these. These do sell for about $80 new, I think. Maybe a little bit more. I can't remember what the exact price of those was. And um, I might give a couple of these to my granddaughter. I'm not. These, I don't know if they fell out. Yeah, they even had the Boscovs. That was just for one, which was $13.99. That's how much it is for one. Somebody was selling them two for a dollar. So these are LOL surprises, but there's a bunch of them. And these are just, um, these are party favors. They're just like pens with like little characters on top. So some of them are different. You have those ones, which are like the rubber. Those, so there's two of the ones with the rubber and then there's two of the ones that are like this. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to lock them together. I'll probably lock them like this, like two like that. And then I'll put a, um, put a quantity in the listing of two. So that's probably a good idea just to do that. There was one bag that was empty. I'm guessing, oh, these are party bags. Okay. So that's what this is. These are just like party bags. I don't know what we're going to do with those, but these were just in a bag by themselves. So I just grabbed them. Anytime I see LOL, I usually grab them for my granddaughter because she really likes that stuff. Just a bag of junk. So we have we have Walk Fit Platinum. These are just like shoe pieces. Um, they're like fittings for shoes, like custom. They have the size and everything. So there's the two sets in here. These are expensive to have these made. So if these will fit um, someone and they're, you know, then there's a bunch of the heel pieces. So I don't know. I have to do a little bit more research on these, but these, this set itself um, sells and the size. Whew, scared the crap out of me. Go away, cat. <laughs> and these are size E, male and female. So they're for male and female, so that's good. You scared the crap out of me, Smokey. Go away. He's always up my butt. Even when I'm sitting down, he's always like laying on top of me. All right, so my daughter's going to love these. She loves pickles. So these are Christmas ornaments. They're pickles. But then you have the Snoopy. I think that's, isn't her name Lucy or something? And then there's Snoopy on the inside. So I'll probably put those two together and just, you know, whatever. Then there's like a little wooden, um, wooden car in there. So I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that. I think I scanned this and this was like a $20 game. This is an old game. It's called Odyssey. I don't think it was in perfect condition. 
It actually is. All right, so this is in this is like a brand new game right here. Um, I'm I'm guessing that I can probably get up around fifteen to twenty dollars for that game. I have to look it up again to make sure. Um, if not, it might be junk. I don't know. All right, so here we have some Imagine X. I think there's Batman and Robin in there. I'll probably sell these together. Found a remote, an RCA remote. Whenever I see remotes, I grab them. They're easy to list. They're easy to test. Um, this one is actually really corroded, really bad. That's going to be trash. I'll probably throw that away. I should have looked at that because you're paying for weight that you're not going to use. Then I found some Chicago Bears stuff. We got that. I don't know if that's just like was supposed to be sitting on top of something. I did see a bobblehead. It was just like a head with like dreadlocks. I don't know who the player was, but it was missing the rest of the body. Then there's this Chicago Bears football. That's an ornament. Then there's another one, which I thought was really, really cool. I don't know the player on the back. The one player on the back is Hester. Hester. So you can see on the back, there's the name. And then there's just like, they're just like, we won. Woo. So I don't know what that's worth. Really heavy too, like heavy plastic. Um, I'll Google lens them and see what they're worth. And they'll definitely be lotted together. Then I found these little figures. I don't know. Then we did find some jewelry. I did find some brooches. One of them is, is a Monet pin. Monet's like, it's not a real high-end brand, but it is a good brand to look out for. Some of the pins can be like $50, $60 pins. And then these, I'm probably just gonna give these to my granddaughter. Found a JBL remote. That's probably in good condition. That other one, I think is just, I'm gonna have to clean it too much. I'll take the batteries out of it and make sure. But if you guys look at the back of it, it's just like, that's all, battery acid that had leaked out so i don't know i don't know what these are they're just like little mermaids they're not little mermaid but they are mermaids and i don't know what this is from i don't know if these could be mcdonald's i don't i don't even know what they are so i gotta look those up and i found a barbie but i don't know i know this is ken um ken kind of looks i don't know does ken look asian to you or i don't know a little bit, yeah, a little bit. I guess that's Asian Ken, I don't know. Whatever. All right, so I grabbed these because these are brand new. These are fish. They're called, I guess they're made by Shen. This one has a little bit of glitter on it. I guess we we'll, might have to take that off. I don't know if these are, I guess these are, these are good. They're brand new. They still have the tag on them. So nobody wore these. There's only a tag on one. We do have a right and a left foot. They're just like fish slippers. They're made by Cotties. I think they're called Cotties Fish Flip Flops. That's what these are called. And these these sell for about $25 a pair. So that was a good find also. They're brand new and I shouldn't have any problem selling those. And I didn't even look this up. I don't know what this is worth. So I gotta look that up. I'll do that later. Why are you guys fighting in front of my video? See, see what I gotta deal with? This is why I don't record from home. My kids will come out and they'll make food because I'm in the kitchen. Like I'm, this is the dining room and then the kitchen's over there. So if you hear the microwave running, that's why. All right, so I wasn't going to pick this baby Einstein set up. Um, I don't think I looked at the discs. I think the discs were in good shape. I think they were like basically brand new. Yeah, that's the reason why I picked this set up. Now there's a little bit of wear on the feet because it's like a, um, it's kind of like a book type of. Not a book, but you know, like a shelf type of deal. So there's a little bit of wear on the feet on the bottom of it. If you have both sets, I think there's a couple sets that go with this. Um, people are listing them for like $80, $90, but this set generally only sells for, I think like 20 to $25, something like that. So a real easy sale, it'll probably sell quick. I think there's two sets listed right now for $30. So I'm gonna list this set for probably like 25 or 30, I'll put it on sale, I'll charge the shipping, and my sale, will, my mine will sell first. That's what you want to do. You want to under, you want to cut your, 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 your competition. You want to undercut them, you know, or it's just going to sit. <clears throat> Especially when I got all this stuff at the bins and I spent $60. I know that, you know, I need to do that. Can you get out of here, Smokey? Go. Uh, shoe, fly, shoe. Vionic is an okay brand. It's not a great brand. I don't really have a whole lot of experience um, with this brand selling selling well. But I picked these up because these are also brand. These are brand new, and these are like nurse, like Mary Jane clogs, whatever you want to call them. These might even fit my wife. 
Um, it's a possibility. I think they're a little too small. I think her, her foot is bigger than that. I can't see the size on them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what size they are, so I can't can't offer them. I don't know. I don't know what size they are. And here, I forget what they're called, but these are Nike Track and Field. I got to clean them up a little bit, and they'll be ready to list. I just I'm going to clean the bottom. And Smokey, you're just in everything. Yeah, remind me not to, to film ever again with my cat. I think I've done this before. And this is how, the, this was the outcome. Him into everything. All right, so I'm not going to be able to show you all the books. I'm going to try to sh just show you a couple. And I found some video games today. We got Bike Week, Daytona Beach, Florida, um, 2011. I don't know what this is worth. I picked it up because it's brand new. It still has the paper inside. Now, we did find two golf sets. Now, these golf sets are valuable. Make sure you guys are looking for these when you're out. I already know because I've seen them before and I've sold them before. And I know that they do very well. Um, these are like $50 sets. I got things just flying everywhere. These are $50 sets. Um, they are like multiple discs on the inside, just like a bunch, like a whole set. So um, I believe that this set, see, people have them listed really low too. And this is the kind of item that you can just list it and forget it. And when it sells, it sells um, because there's not that many of them listed. <clears throat> there's like maybe like five listed and like, you know, maybe five sold. So the sell through rate is 100%, but there's people that are listing them for like $35 when in actuality you can get 50, 50 bucks for this um, DVD if you let it sit. I don't know the condition of the discs. I think they're a little rough, but they're not that bad. And with this set, I believe that these discs were actually like brand new. Yeah, this set is this set is like perfect. So this is the same thing. It's another, you know, multi-disc, whatever, program. Um, this is probably like training, like golf training, like tutorial. Can you guys just get away from my stuff? I'm telling you, they're gonna drive me crazy. I like my kids and these are brand new they're still they're still stuck to the inside i don't see any scratches or anything on them um this is a 40 dollars set these are i think they're made by burton because it does say burton right there these are obviously um ski goggles um what size are they triple blue lagoon insurgent um triple triple it doesn't it doesn't say triple blue. It doesn't say what they're for. It does have a $40 price tag on it that was kind of slashed off. So I don't know what size these are. What's that on the inside? That's Yeah, these still have the tag on them. They still have the tag around the piece. I'm trying to find the... Uh... Oh, wow. These have a $150 tag on them. I, didn't even, I don't even know what these are worth. I know they're brand new. So I know going to the bins is really good. Um, you can make a lot of money um, going to the bins as opposed to just um, doing thrift stores all day because you're going to spend a fortune. Like I spend $100 every time I go to a thrift store. Like, it, And I don't walk out with that much. I really don't. But, you know, it just it is what it is. So I did get some books. The Flying Saucer Reader, there's a lot of books in here that are like obscure UFO um, sighting, findings, whatever. And these are all by Eric Von Doniken. There's three of them. There's, um, what is that? Chariots of the Gods, Gods from Outer Space, and the, the Gold of the Gods. So these are all by the same person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock these together. They're all going to go together. Um, I think there's more than three books. So it would have been nice if I would have found... A, a more books by that same author. So that was the flying saucer one. Then we have this haunted, haunted horror Halloween CD. This is like a ten dollar sale. Man, these cats—they don't give up. And this was not really worth that much. It's just a computer game, ATV, whatever. And I did find a decent. I did find some games. I found a couple, couple Wii games too. I do have a Wii. So here's all the games that we found today. We found some Assassin's Creed. I found Hitman. I don't know if that one's in good condition or not. We're going to find out. Yeah, pretty good condition. Usually when the cases are in good shape, usually the disc is. You can always tell 
um, the condition of a, of a disc by looking at the case. Because if somebody didn't take care of the case, then they didn't take care of the disc either. You know, most likely. A bunch of these are Connect games. We have Madden 11. Now Madden just passed away. You know, rest his soul. John Madden was, uh, uh, I guess, a commentator or whatever. Um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but um, I, I believe he was also a player. I don't know if he played for the Bears or, you know, speaking of the Bears, I don't know. So I guess we'll find out. So we got a bunch of these books. We got tons of them. There's tons and tons of them. I think there's a total of like 54 of them. And we got a copy of Frankenstein. This is only like a $10 book. Um, I believe the older copy of Frankenstein would be way older than this. This is like 1965 or something. But there's just, there's so many of them. There's tons of these books. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through them. I'm going to look at all the ones that are all the same. Now, there's a whole bag down here. So, like I said, I'm not going to show all of them to you because it would just take too long. It would be really boring, guys. In Search of Ancient Gods. Like, they're just, like, all alien. Mysteries of Easter Island. Like, they're just obscure, you know, witchcraft at Salem. This is the one, one of the ones I wanted to look up. Now, remember, I'm selling those gypsy um, tarot card sets you know they're selling for such high dollar amounts that some of that obscure that witchcraft there's a there's a couple books out there that i know that are really valuable that are good to look for um i can't remember what they're called i did sell one i sold two copies i think i sold one copy and i still have another or i might have sold one on amazon and i might have sold one on ebay as well i'm not really sure seeing the earth from space, I mean, there's just, there's, there's so many of them, guys. I'm, I'm definitely, there's a whole, there's a whole bag of them. So, I'm just going to line them all up and just take some photos. And we're just going to go from there. And, yeah. So, let's get to the rest of what we got. So, I found a cashmere sweater. Or, not a sweater. Um, cashmere. Um, it doesn't have a brand. It just says cashmere. It just says 100% cashmere made in Scotland. So I'm not really sure if this is, has any value. It might be like 15 bucks. If that, I don't know. Maybe. And I don't remember if this was, this is an old navy. This is Land's End. This is just a women's full zip. It's like a jacket, sweater type of deal. Um, full zip. But it's a buffalo plaid. So I figured that this will probably do well because of the pattern. Picked up another vineyard, you know, vineyard, whatever you want to call it. Um, Martha's Vineyard, blah, blah, blah. Somebody threw me a sweater like that before and I grabbed it. So I was like, you know what, maybe I'll sell it. I'm going to try to sell this one as well. This one is vintage. It has a Santee HVYWT. I don't know what that means, but I know that it is. It is made in USA. You guys can see that right there. Made in USA. So it's probably vintage. I found a couple more pairs of booty shorts. They've been doing well. So, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it's working, keep working it. So we're going to work these booty shorts. I'm not going to work them, but somebody's going to work them booty shorts. And, you know, they're going to sell. And black's a little harder to clean up. But some items are worth they're kind of worth cleaning. This might be, I got to button the rest of the buttons, but this is, the school is calling in. They're probably saying that there's not going to be, there's either going to be a delay tomorrow or there's not going to be any school. So this was just an L.L. Bean. This is a nice, um, nice um, knit. It's a cable knit sweater. I'm guessing it's cotton. It's 100% cotton. So I'll probably get about 25 for that, something like that. They're heavy, so, you know, I try to get a little bit more because I like to do free shipping. All right, so this was a Nautica. Thought it was really cool to actually find this. Can you see that, or is that on the other side? Yeah, the, lab the logo is actually on this side. If you guys can see that, let me see if I can get you to... There's the Nautica. There's a bigger one on this side. I'm guessing that it's probably... I don't see a material tag, but I'm kind of guessing that's the old Nautica symbol like from the 90s, maybe early 2000s, but I'm guessing 90s. Another scarf. I'm going to try to sell scarves this year. If I don't sell any this year, you know what? I'm not even going to pick them up anymore 
because I have scarves sitting that they just don't sell. I don't know what it is about scarves. They just, they don't sell. And here's another L.L. Bean. It's got a cool fleck. It's just like a purple, purple pea coat, you know, long pea coat. It's in pretty good condition. Not too bad. Probably like 40 bucks for that, you know, 35 or 40. I'm probably going to charge shipping on that. Some of these items were kind of forced and some of them weren't. Like that jacket, I, I kind of didn't want to get that jacket, but I did anyway. So we have an apartment nine. It's 100% cashmere. It's a women's large, has an argyle pattern on the front, which is a good pattern to pick up, um, especially for sweaters like that. Argyle's a good pattern. All right, so we got another pair of booties. These are Air Apostle shorties. That's probably something I should put in the title. These are called shorties, obviously, because they're super short. Um, they've been doing really well. I've already sold, like, I think I sold two pairs so far, something like that. So somebody handed me these Patagonias. These are just like underwear, you know, like Long John, whatever you call. Um, he didn't want to deal with them. He couldn't find them. I was like, well, they're Patagonia. So, you know, it doesn't matter. I'll just list them. I'll know all the keywords. Thank you for giving them to me. Oh, I'm bad with names. I can't, I don't believe this guy's ever even told me his name. So if you know who you are, leave your name, comment down below. I know you're watching my videos. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of the, I think I have 263 subscribers. Way to go, guys. Thank you so much. I'm hitting that 250 mark is like a milestone. I can't wait to hit a thousand. I can't wait to have, you know, a, a, that thousand um, or whatever. I believe, I think it's a thousand hours. I didn't know this had a hole in it. That's going back. It's got a hole in it. I didn't see the hole. But um, this is another JG, JG hook. This is 100% wool. Um, it is cute. It has like little teddy bears on it, but it has a hole in it. So I'm probably going to toss that out. There's another one in here. This one might have holes too. I'm going to have to look. I should have looked a little bit better. This one's cool because it's got little ducks all over it. This is also a JG hook. I don't think they're made in USA. They're like Hong Kong. This one's Hong Kong. It's 100% lana, wool, whatever. Shetland wool. Um, this one I might be able to get away with. If there's no holes in this one, I will sell that one. But that one I'm going to get rid of. That one's a vest anyway. I probably wouldn't get as much for it. But the, it's a big hole. I'm, I'm not going to get away with that. It's it's going to be too hard to explain that. That's a pretty big, pretty decent size hole. So I'm just going to probably get rid of that. And last but not least, we got three pairs of shoes. So whenever you guys see SAS, SAS is a really good brand. These are kind of big, so I'm kind of weary if these are going to sell or not. I'm going to list them today, but the condition is really, really good. These are in just like really good condition. There's no, you know, there's hardly any scuffs. They just look real good. So we're going to go ahead and get these listed. I think they're like a 13. They're a 13 medium. Make sure you guys are doing your flex. Make sure you're doing your bend test. Make sure they're not rotted and they don't crack in half. These are good. Good to go. Um, I don't know what this particular model is worth. These are like walking shoes, um, comfort walking shoes. Um, they do make other brands like Dexter and things like that are kind of the same thing. But SAS is a really good brand. They're from San Francisco. That's what the, the, um, the name, that's what the abbreviation stands for. It's like San Francisco shoe or something like that. I, I don't remember exactly what it stands for, but these I picked up too because I don't like to clean my shoes. I have to get them if they're in good condition. There's not a lot of drag on these. These are um, Joseph, how do you pronounce that? Abowd? I don't know if it's Joseph Abowd, but that's what the logo looks like. But the condition is really good. These are a wing tip. This is called Brogue. Whenever you see all these little holes in the front like that, that's called brogue. Um, and obviously wing tip because, you know, there's a W, wing, whatever. Um, but yeah, not a lot of drag on these and not a lot of wear. So I was like, you know what? I'm grabbing them. Shoes are only $3. What do I got to lose? Somebody offers me $20. bucks. i will probably just take it. Then last but not least, guys, we found a pair of Clarks. Um, nobody wanted to buy them. I guess they had them priced too high. Only $7.50. I mean, I probably wouldn't concentrate on this brand, but believe it or not, like Clark's and Hush Puppies, and there are certain brands that have really good sell-through rates that you don't think to buy, but 
they probably would make more sense for you to buy those those items. Like there's a lot of New Balances. Um, there's certain numbered New Balances that are just if you pick them up, they will sell right away. Um, you just have to do the research, and that's something that I lack in a little bit in certain categories. I just don't take the time to do the research, especially with shoes. I think it's because shoes are boring. I like buying shoes, but I don't like selling shoes. Taking pictures and doing that with them is not that complicated, but I mean, you can't always just do what you like because you know you might not make enough money if you do what you like all the time. Sometimes you got to do things that you don't like to do, but you know, stick to doing th things that you're happy with that and that um that don't suck the joy out of you. So I mean, that's my best advice. It's but you can do you know what you want to do, what you feel is best for your business. So that's it. That's all she wrote. That was loud. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash that thumbs up button. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I post another video. Probably be tomorrow. Who knows? Who cares? Peace out.